Well, we have the pleasure to present our first book of the Water Lago Acid Network. It's a long due book because it comes from one of our international conferences that took place in Sao Paulo in 2010. Most of the papers included in the book uh, were presented at that conference and we included also some invited writers from outside our network and despite the delay this is a very timely book because we discuss in this book uh, different experiences to explore empirically and theoretically as well what it means in practice in the field to implement the human right to water, what it means to people and what it means to the authorities, to those in charge of implementing policies to make the human right to water a reality. So the book is centered mainly on Latin America and has cases from Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Peru, uh, and it uh, looks at cases in large urban centers, the case of water and sanitation issues in large urban centers, from privatization to innovative solutions implemented, for instance, in Venezuela with the technical water boards. Um, but also is looking at challenges faced by government policies implemented from the center, from central governments, in remote rural areas where there are local traditions, local ways of dealing with water. And a particular interesting case is that of Peru, where we have a, a very interesting paper in the book looking at the implementation of the Water for All campaign of the government uh, that uh, faced uh, interesting challenges in a remote island in the Titicaca Lake where people have their own ways of dealing with water and what government policies actually uh, face a strong resistance. We have also a very interesting chapter on Nicaragua and a very interesting case because the type of uh, organization for the provision of potable water in rural areas is typical from Latin America, particularly in Central America, where there are thousands of these uh, rural water boards. And the chapter explains the different uh, ways these water boards are arranged, the relationships with central governments, and the processes of change they are uh, undergoing at the moment. So on the whole, this is a book that will provide excellent material for researchers, students, and also practitioners to look at some of the challenges we are facing in Latin America uh, in relation to the implementation of the human right to water. Uh, the book uh, will be available for free, both in print and online, and we hope that it will be interesting reading, useful reading for everyone. We are very, very pleased to present it to the public.